Regional foreign ministers met to discuss a number of issues and high on their agenda was the controversial matter involving the Bahamas and a Cuban group. Just hours ago, CARICOM counterparts issued a statement saying they deplore the threatened economic boycott of the country and attacks on the Bahamas by foreign interest groups. Our Opal Roach is the only reporter from the Bahamas covering this week's UN meetings. She has more tonight on the discussions in New York. A big day for the Bahamas at the United Nations as the Caribbean community lends its support on a very touchy issue. It's been in the headlines now for weeks. Anti-Bahamas protest all aimed at crushing our economy. The democracy movement in Florida led the demonstrations in hopes of pulling away our tourist dollars. The group took the action claiming the mistreatment of Cuban detainees at the Carmichael Road Detention Center, and it's not too pleased with the length of time it takes for deportation or to be granted political asylum. Now those abuse claims have been investigated and a hearing will begin soon. But on Friday, the regional community spoke with one voice at the United Nations, bashing that group for its attempts at crippling our number one industry. Leading that group is Foreign Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable Winston Dukuran. We decided to make a statement in support of the Bahamian authorities against the threats to its economic interests that has happened by certain interest groups based in, in Miami. So we endorsed the support to the Bahamian authorities on this matter, and we also support the efforts of Bahamas to ensure that within the law that they provide the necessary uh, mechanisms for proper immigration procedures. We strongly support the, the efforts of Bahamas to put some order to this matter. Now, indeed, this was welcomed news for Foreign Affairs Minister, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, who has faced much criticism. Well, I, I'm very pleased that uh, my colleague foreign ministers and all of the CARICOM countries were unanimous, including Haiti, at the efforts toward uh, the work we've done uh, with this issue of um, immigration, which is quite vexing. Uh, I've always said that this uh, business of threatening our economic interest in uh, South Florida um, is not a friendly act. Uh, and uh, I've indicated that uh, people ought to be reminded of the large amount of business that we do in Florida, a billion dollars spent of monies in Florida by Bahamians. Uh, and so I'm happy for this endorsement by, uh, by CARICOM. This step comes ahead of the Prime Minister's address to the United Nations on Saturday. Minister Mitchell gave this preview. Well, the Prime Minister is going to give the country's position on a whole range of matters, including the protection of our financial services, a need for global governance on that against unilateral measures, uh, to talk about the migration issues, to sensitize people to what is going on in terms of migration in the Bahamas, and also to call for uh, the work to help support young people and to find employment. 